Hi, I'm Dom Turner from the Backsliders. We're from Sydney. We play blues-based music, but we call it Delta Blues Wall of Sound. The Backsliders has been going for 20 years now. This is the 20th year. We started in uh, late 86, 87. Um, the lineup's changed since then, and I, I'm the only original member. And the music we were playing at that point was 1920s, 1930s, traditional blues. More recently, the music has moved slightly more towards a rock end of things, but it still very much has its heart in the blues of the North Mississippi area. Selling you slip on a jacket you took so long to choose. It sure is selling you. So playing live with the backsliders, we rely a lot on interacting with each other. And we do that through sort of a lot of eye contact. We sit really close together on stage. Um, uh, but there's a very much an intuitive element in, in that we do communicate with each other musically on another level, whatever that is. Seven years ago when Rob Hurst first joined the band, how we decided to include him in the band was basically sitting in a rehearsal studio and it was a matter of playing one song and it was like instantaneous and so we knew that he was the right person for the group. The basis of the group really is the two of us communicating together with the harmonica kind of surfing over the top of everything.
the octopus and put a sound so sweet. No talk on the end, no talk on the lip. Chinese on the reminisce. Get together about this. City. I'm walking to the train. Go to the city. I'm walking to the train. Yeah, right, take covers at twilight, Joe's near. Here on sunrise, stretch it to the dawn. Try to take covers at twilight, starts to fall. Train pulls out in his to call. The famous Rob Hurst drum kit in the backsliders is quite an unusual kit. Nothing about it is normal in terms of drum kit. The group doesn't have a bass, so we rely very heavily on 
I'm playing guitar on my thumb doing a bass line and I play treble with my fingers. The combination of the thumb and Rob's kick drum creates the bass for the band. So Rob uses a marching drum which is far bigger than a regular kick drum. He also uses hi-hats that on a, a trip a few years ago to Vietnam, he found quite a lot of handmade cymbals. Sounds very exotic and sound wonderful, but actually they're very poor quality, badly made cymbals, but they have a certain clank about them. There's also a, uh, apparently a suspension spring from the bottom of an old Peugeot that fell off. So that's on the kit and quite has a quite prominent role. But it just goes on from there. He has a couple of very old snare drums. One of them he uses upside down rather than... So nothing is normal about this kit at all. In creating this music, we're after something that has a sort of a lo-fi element about it. A beautiful crystal clean drum sound doesn't quite fit in with the sound of the music that we're playing. In the same way I use a lot of distortion on the guitars and I use old sounding guitars. It's just to create a certain ambience and the boom clank drum kit just seems to work so beautifully.
rich like me, the overall sound, it's played on an electric 12-string guitar, tuned very low. And this was a common feature of the 12-string guitar players uh, in the south of the US, in particular Blind Willie McTell um, and Lead Belly, who were probably the key US 12-string guitar players. They all tune their guitars almost down to a baritone level. Um, which creates a lot of bass and creates a whole different sound and feel, a much darker feel to the song. The drum beat in that is probably closer to something of the Rolling Stones in its swagger. This is like a classic example of rock and early blues mixing together. The key to the music that we write is Mississippi blues. And so uh, in drawing on other influences, we're using that as a center point. In talking about the songs that I write and that both Rob and I write together, because we don't write generally in a narrative fashion, it's often difficult to work out what the meaning is, in whether there's a meaning at all. 
And um, we rely a little bit on the same theory that Tom Waits uses. And I love the way that he describes his songs in that he says he hopes his songs are like an aquarium, that every time you go back and look at them, something different is happening. So in some respects, that's what we're trying to do here. Something's missing It's my brother Lies forever There's a man on the beach He's my father He cuts my hair Out in the open Thanks very much, folks. 
and Strophurst on the drums there. And Tian Collard on the harmonica. My name is Don with the Backstarters. I greet you, Thanks very much, folks. Thanks for coming along.